Hello, grade 8 students. So today, we will be discussing about solving corresponding parts of congruent triangles. So this topic is the fifth topic for the third quarter of Mathematics 8. And the learning competency for this topic is solves the corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Okay. Okay. So let's start our discussion. The examples for this video are from Wow Math Channel. And I ask permission from them to use their videos in our discussion. Thank you, all my channel. Let's have first an activity. So, by the way, this is just a recall. Okay, so I want you to identify which pair of figures are congruent by inspection. Okay, so you may just say the number. Okay, so we have, okay, we have 1 and 9, 6 and 3, and 5 and 4. Okay, now from this given pair of triangles, we can have or we can know that these triangles are congruent by inspection or masasabi natin na congruent sila by using the different kinds of motion. So, pag sinabi natin motion, ito yung mga types of motion for geometric figures. So, ito yung ginagamit natin na pwede natin uh, makatulong, pwedeng makatulong sa atin para malaman na itong triangles na to ay congruent. Okay? So, ano-ano ba yung mga types of motion? So, we have, ito yung tinatawag natin na Okay, this one is by translation, this one is by reflection, and this one is by rotation. So, ano-ano ba itong types of motion for us to determine that the triangles are congruent? So, ito, this is by translation. So, ito rin yung tinatawag natin na uh, this is where we are sliding the figure. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin by translation or slide, this is where we are moving one triangle from one position to another without turning it. Okay? Next. And this one is what we call by reflection. So, this is where we are flipping. Okay? So, flipping a figure over a line. So, ito yung tinatawag natin mirrored. Okay? So, ito yung mirrored. And next, okay? So, as you can see, it is moving from a fixed point. Okay, and then ayusin na lang natin. So, this is by rotation. So, this is where we are turning. Okay? So, turning the figure around a fixed point. So, these are the types of motion. First is by translation where uh, we are not moving, uh, we are not turning the triangle. So, we just move the triangle from one position to another. So, that is by translation. Next is by reflection where we are flipping the figure over a line. So, this is the mirror type. And by rotation where we are turning the figure around the fixed point. Always remember the definition of congruent triangles. That the two triangles are congruent if and only if their corresponding parts are congruent. Now, from these two congruent triangles, so I have here triangle ABC and triangle DEF. Okay? So, let us uh, give the corresponding angles and sides of these two congruent triangles. So, angle A is congruent, it corresponds to angle D. Angle B corresponds to angle E and angle C corresponds to angle F. Okay, so let's proceed to the sides. We have AB corresponds to DE, BC corresponds to EF, and AC corresponds to DF. 
Ah, okay. Now, from these sets of corresponding angles and corresponding sides, di ba nga sabi natin, uh, if two triangles are congruent, then their corresponding sides and angles are also congruent. So, therefore, we can say that angle A is congruent to angle D. Angle B is congruent to angle E. Angle C is congruent to angle F. Also, AB is congruent to DE, BC is congruent to EF, and AC is congruent to DF. Okay, so what will be our congruent statement here? So, uh, based dito sa given natin corresponding angles and sides, we can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Okay, so again, make sure that you are writing the correct order of your vertices. Okay, uh, hindi pwede na kung ano po yung gusto natin. Let's say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle FED. Hindi po. Kasi if we will be checking if this is FED at F ang inuna mo, therefore F corresponds to A, which is based dito, hindi po. Okay, F corresponds to C. So, dapat po tama at maayos ang order po ng ating vertices. Take note that two triangles are congruent if and only if their vertices and sides can be paired so that the corresponding parts of the triangles are congruent. Imagine the two congruent triangles in a way that they overlap each other to form as one. The order of the vertices is very important. And always remember the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent or what we call the CPCTC. From these sets of corresponding congruent sides and angles, so nakuha na natin yung corresponding angles and sides na congruent. Okay? So let us complete the table. Okay, so ito rin po yung kanina. So, I have here triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. So, ito yung nakuha natin kanina na corresponding congruent angles and corresponding congruent sides. Now, if angle A is equal to 80 degrees, so let's say this is 80 degrees. Now, based dito sa ating corresponding congruent angles, that angle A is congruent to angle D. So, what is the measure of angle D? Correct. This is also 80 degrees because of this. Okay? Next, if angle E is equal to 60 degrees, then what is the measure of angle B? That is also 60 degrees. Next, if angle C is equal to 40 degrees, then angle F is equal to, okay, that is also 40 degrees, okay? So, why did we say that these angles measure like these angles? Because of the corresponding congruent angles. So, ito po siya, that angle A is congruent to angle D. Next, let's proceed dito sa ating sides. So, if... AB is equal to 5 centimeters, so this is your AB, what is the measure of DE? So, based dito, they are congruent, so DE is also 5 centimeters. Okay, next. So, if EF is equal to 10 centimeters, therefore, what is BC? So, BC is equal to 10 centimeters. Next, if DF is equal to 7 centimeters, then AC is equal to 7 centimeters. Now, take note, when we are writing the measures of the given sides, do not write the symbol for segment. Okay? Hindi po natin ilalagay po yung, yung symbol dito, yung guhit dito sa taas kapag measures na po. Okay. So, 
We are done with the presentation and identification of solving corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Now, we will solve its corresponding parts. Okay, try this first in your notebook and after answering the problem, you can check your answer in the second part of this video lesson. So, ang goal ninyo dito is hanapin ang mga corresponding congruent angles and corresponding congruent sides, then solve for x. So, see you in part 2. Stay tuned, grade 8.